Welcome, welcome everybody to a new My Hero Academia video. Guys, I have a big one here. I have a big, big, big one. Uh, one that I know a lot of people have, you know, or are going to find very useful. I made a spreadsheet with all of the uh, talent tree uh, paths. Uh, keep in mind, please keep in mind that this is my opinion. I'm going to make this spreadsheet available. The link is going to be on the description. I'm open to suggestions. Of course, you can you can leave a comment. You can DM me on Discord. Whatever you want to do, it's fine. I will take it into account, right? Like I know that obviously I know that there's a ton of people that know a lot more than I do. This is just my opinion and what I have found based off of a billion YouTube videos that I've watched and also spending tons of time in the help channel in the official Discord. So uh, just keep in mind, this is my opinion, please. And I'm completely open to suggestions and I will definitely change stuff if some, some of it is wrong, okay? So um, let's just uh, jump straight, uh, straight in with, uh, with Kaminari, okay? So for Kaminari, the first branch that you're going to want to do is the bottom right branch. Uh, so basically the first ability in the bottom right is going to give you increased damage and then the se the final one is going to apply the numbed status to enemies. Uh, numbed, I'm not exactly sure if it stuns or if it just slows enemies. Numbed sort of sounds like, you know, it slows enemies, but you know, if you've played Super Cop and you've and you brought uh, Kaminari, you know that he stuns enemies forever. So I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, if somebody knows, please leave a comment and, and clarify it for us. I will pin it so you, that you know so that everybody else can see it. Um, and then you want to go for the top left. Why? Because Kaminari is you know like he's most useful in PVE uh, more than PVP. You know, on PvP he's just so, so easy. I have another video, I'll leave, in, I'll leave it in the description, you know, where I talk about Kaminari and why he's not that great in PvP. But basically the gist of it is that he, you can see his ability is coming from a mile away and he is too easy to just stop. Um, so yes, you want to go top left, it, it will increase the, uh, the splash damage on his E. His E is that one, you know, the one that you should uh, an enemy and then if there are two or more enemies it'll just create like a like a stream of lightning between them you know it's like it's technically splash damage uh, so yeah pretty straightforward right uh, let's jump now to Kirishima so for Kirishima you want to go top right first you can see that's what I did here uh, because Top right, it, what it's gonna do? It's gonna <laughs> he's gonna hit like a truck because when hot blooded, meaning when his when his bar at the bottom is fully charged, he's going to uh, inc he's going to deal 20% more damage. That is crazy. That is so 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 much damage. And then um, the <laughs> I just put there uh, 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 the Q cooldown too. Uh, you know, like it says, if you counter in in less than 0.5 seconds. So if you have you know very nice reflexes which you really need for PvP, uh, you get a very huge, uh, you know, five seconds uh, cooldown reduction on his counter. So you can counter, and then I think he, the cooldown is uh, about between 10 and 15 seconds, so you can, you can counter uh, pretty quick after that. This is very handy in PvP, because people kind of, you know, since this is a free character, a lot of people have used him, and so they have, like, the timing down, but they don't realize, you know, they don't they don't think about this particular ability that will reduce your cooldown. So they'll approach you thinking that you don't have your counter up yet, and then they're gonna get destroyed. <laughs> so then you wanna go bottom right. Uh, bottom right says the first one increases, uh, I'm sorry, reduces damage received uh, during his W, and then it also uh, increases the headbutt uh, damage by 20% and he can stack up to five times so up to a hundred percent his headbutts hurt <laughs> so I just put there death by head haha <laughs> very funny so yeah that's gonna be Kirishima now let's go to Deku okay so then we have Deku Deku pretty much is you go top right uh, which is just going to increase your W uh, damage and then it's also if you use your W after your E it's going to give you another 40% extra damage and then you want to go bottom right which is going to make it so that um, 
It says when E swift kicks hits an enemy, the cooldown time of W smash, so you basically use your E, right, to increase your W damage, and it also reduces the cooldown of your W, and then you can use two Ws with the final uh, with the final ability you can see that you can see that a lot of this actually synergizes very well if you go one one uh, Branch to the next it synergizes very very nicely um, So these ones that synergize so well sometimes are kind of interchangeable like in this case you could do the other way around So it's it's kind of up to you, but these two synergize these two branches synergize very well So you should focus on them first so then we have Ojiro. Ojiro, I have no idea. I have never, ever, ever used this character other than for the, the training missions. Um, according to the, you know, the videos that I've watched, the people that I've consulted with, you want to go first, bottom right. Uh, I have no idea what any of this means. I'm so sorry. If someone can clarify in the comments, that would be very helpful. So I just wrote down kick, kick, punch, punch, wow, wow, because that's, <laughs> that's what he does. He just kicks and punches and then it looks very cool <laughs> and then you're gonna go uh, top right because it increases uh, damage against hyper armor so he's gonna be excellent excellent in PvE against bosses you know bosses have a lot of bosses have hyper armor so um, he's gonna be very very good there uh, so again if somebody can explain what Ojiro actually does and you know explain his tree a little bit better that would be very helpful uh, I will be updating this spreadsheet of course if somebody you know has the information that would be amazing I actually had a lot of trouble finding information about Ojiro because nobody actually uses him I'm like I mean I found a bunch of you know showcases and stuff like that but nobody actually goes into you know into detail on his abilities but you know just give me a video if you if you find one and I'll happily go and watch it and then update this this um, spreadsheet all right next we have Sue so for Sue Sue is a little um, iffy <laughs> So for Sue, uh, you know, she uh, she's another character that actually has two branches that synergize very, very nicely, right? So I'm going to say you should go top left first. And what top left is going to do is the first ability says that when an enemy first enters a Venom zone, they're instantly numbed and their movement speed is decreased by 15%. See what I'm saying? It's kind of confusing because it says that, you know, they're numbed and they're also that their movement speed is decreased. So what is numbed? Is it stunned or is it, you know, slowed? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Again, if someone can clarify. So it numbs enemies, right? His W, you know, the, the W is, uh, is the one that pulls, pull, uh, puts a, a puddle on the floor, a giant uh, purple puddle on the floor. And then, um, the final ability says, while well, airborne hitting a numbed villain with Q, Rocket Hop deals an additional 400 attack of true damage. I think they meant damage there. 400 damage of true damage? I don't know. They probably didn't know how to word it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think what that, I'm pretty sure what that means is, you know, uh, it, it's it's talking about the, the, the Q, the enhanced Q, you know, the, the because Tzu has different abilities if you use her abilities while she's dodging and her enhanced Q what it does is she jumps into the air and then she kind of kind of like spins in the air kind of like Sonic and then she, she just hits you over and over and over again until you interrupt her uh, so I think that's what that is uh, so that's crazy that's insane damage right insane insane um, it's just really really hard to actually land that and create that loop you know because it's it, i don't know it's just very hard to set up i i've never seen that in pvp for example ever never uh and also super cop i've never seen that and i don't use it on pve so i don't know um so yeah then you want to go to uh bottom right uh and i wrote down coming to my poison poison zone and die <laughs> As you can see, I was a little bored while doing this. <laughs> so, like I said, a lot of these abilities actually synergize. And what I'm talking about when I say come, when I say come into my poison zone, um, so basically, uh, you know, if you attack enemies, if you use your abilities on enemies while they're standing on the puddle, you're going to do extra damage that actually stacks, and uh, you also get, you know, some uh, life steal when you're under 30% health. That's pretty cool. Um, then you, then we have Ida. Ida is another character that I have never ever used. I have no clue how to use this guy, no clue whatsoever. But I just watched a bunch of videos. I consulted with a bunch of people, and so I think that the first uh, branch that you should do is top right. 
Uh, everybody seems to agree on this. Um, basically, uh, his attack speed uh, increases by 20% and his crit damage increases by 15%, just flat. Uh, and then uh, on his first ability, it says every hit made using boost combo will increase attack by 0.25% for 3 seconds for a maximum of 100 stacks. So basically, I'm pretty sure that means just his auto attacks. Um, and of course, if you don't know Ida, the way that he works is that he converts speed into damage and damage in, or, or attack and attack into damage, something like that, I think. Please, someone uh, correct me. So basically, it sounds like it, it's not much, you know, 0.25%, but he actually has insane attack speed, insane attack speed. So he's going to stack that in super quick, super, super quick. Um, so yeah, then you want to go bottom right, and I just wrote BROM because, <laughs> because I was very bored, I'm so sorry. Um, basically the first ability says <laughs> engine power increases automatically every 5 seconds by 20 points. Pretty sure that's going to be his, you know, passive ability, you know, the, the little bar that he has at the bottom. Uh, and that's probably going to help you out a lot. Uh, and the final ability says, after every hit using boost combo, additional, additionally deals 40% attack true damage. So you can see how this guy also synergizes well, his two branches synergize well, because his first ability up here said, uh, you know, um, every hit made using boost combo will increase attack. And this one says, after every hit using boost combo, additionally deals 40% attack. So yeah, it synergizes very, very well. Uh, this one is like kind of... Uh, you know, it, 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 makes, it makes more sense to go top right first and then bottom right because, you know, the top one will increase your boost combo itself and this one increases after you're done with your boost combo or at least that's what the wording seems to imply. I'm not sure. Again, just tell me if I'm wrong and I'll update this list immediately. Okay? Uh, yeah, so let's go to the next one. All right, so Jane from the future is going to have to interrupt real quick because I completely forgot about Mineta. So uh, for Mineta, guys, you want to go top right, I'm sorry, top left first because you're going to get uh, more root time. You know, uh, if your enemies step on your grapes, basically, they're going to get rooted for longer. And then you also get uh, on the final ability, you will get a instant refresh of the cooldown time of E. So that sounds pretty great to me, honestly, an instant cooldown on an ability sounds amazing, especially on Mineta because, you know, he takes a while to get his good abilities going. So, uh, and then you want to go to the bottom right because uh, you get a 45 extra attack on his Q, his AK-47 Great Rush. Um, so yeah, that is insane. If you've never tried Mineta, guys, like, that Q is ridiculous. <laughs> if, you, if you actually land a full Q somehow, I don't know how you would do that, but if you actually land a full Q on someone on PvP, you're going to uninstall the game from their phones. Like, it's ridiculous. Uh, and then on the final ability, it says uh, attack is increased by 12% for 5 seconds and can be stacked up to, up to 4 times. And that's whenever Mineta walks on top of the grapes that he leaves on the floor. He starts spinning on the floor. Uh, it's kind of disturbing how it looks. I, I really, I, I don't know why I find it disturbing. I just do. So yeah, um, you just spin to win, basically. You just run around spinning like that and you win. <laughs> that's pretty much the whole thing, the whole shtick. Uh, so yeah, going back to the video now. Next up, we have Uroraka. Uroraka, super, super easy, super, super straightforward. Top right first, it's gonna make you fly longer. A ton of a ton of characters can't deal with a flying Uroraka. Super Cop, you already know she's so annoying on Super Cop um, because you know characters won't bring her down and she'll just rain hell from from the top. There we go. Uh, yeah, you wanna you wanna go for that ability first. It will increase. Uh, I'm sorry. It says the floating meter expended by floating is decreased by 50%. Right. So it basically doubles. Well, it doesn't double, but it, it increases your uh, flying by a lot. And then you have uh, top left. Top left. What's to what it's gonna do is it's going to increase the uh, the the area, the surface area of her E. You know, the attack radius of E, well, okay, the radius, I'm sorry, isn't that the diameter, actually? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, I suck at math. Um, yeah, uh, her E is like, incredibly annoying. If she can get it off, 
you know, all of her abilities, I, I really don't like her that much because all of her abilities can get, get interrupted. Uh, especially her E in Super Cop, it never freaking goes off while the enemy Urarakas always gets it off. It's so annoying. But yeah, that is just a very, you know, like, I wouldn't blame you if you want to go for this one first, but I do suggest that you go for the flying longer first. But yeah, this is just 100% bigger E, 100% bigger, bigger pain because she's incredible. Um, Okay, then we have Aizawa. The, this one, this one is a doozy. Aizawa is very controversial. There's a lot of discussion on how to use how to uh, use the talent tree on Aizawa, especially because you know the translations are very bad. Uh, there's an ability actually right here. It says um, uh, it says triggering kill is perfect snare strangle, and there's nothing on his skill on his skills that actually says. Perfect snare strangle. I have no idea. I assume, and other people also on the Discord assume, that what that means is his special. Once his special is fully loaded, right? So Aizawa is going to use his Q, uh, the ambush Q. Ambush Q is basically the one, uh, you know, the last Q, the one where he does the six hit combo and also uh, it charges his passive. It's the only Q actually that charges his passive. Uh, and then you use your your special ability that will turn you into that that like circle thing with an X, and then you just rain down and you know you wrap your enemies in uh, bandages and you do a ton ton of damage. Okay, so yeah, it's it's very this character is very confusing. Okay, but basically in my opinion, I'm trying to master him. Actually, I I want to bring you guys a guide, a video very soon. So I'm practicing practicing him a lot a lot so hopefully i can bring you a more detailed guide for him soon but for now uh, i think you should first go bottom right uh, bottom right basically is going to give you uh, a cooldown reduction on your w and e when he uses his counter on his counter stance you know that um, aizawa house has three uh, kind of stages for his q right he, he switches between stages with his q so the counter one is the second one, I'm pretty sure. And so basically he, he automatically dodges and then you can counter. Uh, so basically when you do that, it reduces your W and your E cooldown, okay? And then you have uh, tons of damage when switching uh, Q after ambush. So after ambush, like I said, right? After ambush is the, the, the stage that he's in when uh, the little passive at the bottom has the dagger like uh, enveloped with, with, a, with a thing. <laughs> and then when you switch, you know, when you press Q again after that, it will give you tons of damage. I'm sorry, I know I'm being very confusing. Aizawa is a very, very confusing character. Um, so, uh, then it says applied bleeding after counter. Okay, so after counter, you know, like I said, after his second stage, um, if you're on his second stage and you dodge automatically and then you use your counter, uh, your his counter, he's going to apply bleeding. Okay, so then you want to you wanna go top right top right basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you even more counter damage and it's gonna apply even more stacks of bleed and also it's going to give you uh, more damage on your special we think okay me and other people on discord that's what we think this means okay basically you charge your passive with your third stage which is ambush right and then when you use it and you you know attack your enemy you you fall down and you wrap them in bandages and deal a ton of damage it's basically going to give you uh you know this this talent is going to increase the damage when you do that okay uh that's what we think but like i said the translations are very 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 confusing very bad so i'm really sorry if this was confusing to you uh but yeah let's keep moving all right so next we have all might all might and it is another very controversial character. There's also tons of discussions. I'm sure someone will come up with the most optimal way to actually, uh, you know, use this, these talents and these characters. But for now, I believe, this is my opinion, that you should first go bottom right with All Might, okay? First, you should go bottom right, I think, because he, the first ability there is going to, um, uh, I think, is the one is, that one is the one that gives you a huge shield after you do the you know the little jumpy jump and he comes down it gives you a huge shield i think it's like 20 percent of his health uh also you get increased you get increased damage of course um and then his final ability uh i think is is it's the final one that uh makes you chase 
with uh, his uh, Q, I think it is. You know, the one that does a bunch of different, makes a bunch of different punches. <laughs> Oklahoma Smash, I think it's, it's the one uh, that, you know, automatically chases the enemy. At, at least that's what the translation says, that it automatically chases enemies. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, you you want to stick to your enemies, especially when with All Might, which is very, very annoying to get rid of. Um, so uh, then you have top right, uh, like I said, this is very controversial, so other people will tell you different things. Um, Jay from the future again, basically the uh, first half or the set first ability on top right is going to be that when HP is lowered to 40%, All Might recovers 15% of his match max HP. And then uh, the other ability, the final abil ability on top right is going to be that after transferred might is activated, All Might is immune to all damage while using Oklahoma Smash. All right, I'm gonna put on the screen right now what transferred might is because I can't see it because I don't have it, but I'm gonna look it up so you can see on the screen what does it mean that, uh, you know, after transferred might is activated. So I'm so sorry about this, guys. It's very difficult to make a video this big, but let's keep going. Then we have Todoroki. Todoroki, again, I don't have that character, so I'm really sorry, guys. I only, I'm only missing those, those uh, three characters, which are um, Todoroki, All Might, and Momo. So I'm really sorry, I'm just gonna use a screenshot that, like I said, someone on Discord very nice, nicely uh, sent to me. So uh, Todoroki, what, what it says is, top right, you wanna go with increased damage to frozen enemies. Uh, I'm sorry, you wanna go top right, because top right is going to give you increased damage to frozen enemies. If you don't know, Todoroki freezes his enemies once he hits his three Ws on ice form, okay? So once he freezes someone, then he's going to deal like, I think it's 20% increased damage to frozen enemies. Then, um, then we have increased attack when the passive is active. You know, it's kind of confusing, but uh, you know, it's, it's basically the gist of it. You know, uh, that's uh, the mechanic on Todoroki. When he uses his abilities, his little bar at the bottom charges up, you know, depending on whether you're using ice abilities or fire abilities. And then when they're fully charged up, it gives you different bonuses depending on whether or not you're using fire or ice. So it's basically going to give you increased attack when that passive is active. Um, then we have bottom right. You want to go bottom right because it will increase damage after his um, fire E. The fire E is a, a charged punch, kind of like Hiroshima's W. And so you'll have increased uh, damage. I think it's for five seconds after he uses that E. And then um, the pass the double passive after uses are last longer. And basically what that means is when you use uh, Todoroki's ultimate, you get his special, his passive, you know, his little bar at the bottom, you will have both activated, right? So you will have both bonuses from the ice, ice uh, you know, uh, passive and the fire passive. And this one will just make it last longer. Okay, so let's keep going. All right, then we have Momo, another character. I'm so sorry, I don't have her. Uh, I wish I did. I'm just gonna use this uh, screenshot that I have right here. Um, so for Momo, you wanna go first for top right because it will increase uh, friend's damage. I think it's by 20%. Uh, I, I wrote down uh, in Super Cop. I, I didn't really mean that because I'm pretty sure. I mean, like what I meant there is that it, that's very nice for, for Super Cop. But I'm pretty sure friends also counts her turrets. Her turrets. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Uh, friends also count, like her, her turrets also count as friends, uh, you know, and I think, you know, she will also increase her allies attack. I may be wrong. I'm not sure. Please, someone, if, if you know, please clarify in the comments and I will fix this. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically 20% extra damage, even if it's just her turrets or just her allies, that's going to be amazing, especially in Super Cop. Super Cop, she's very good as a backliner. Um, then you have uh, you can have your Q almost instantly because her I think it's her final ability that uh, makes you uh, makes her cooldown. Uh, I'm sorry, gives her re gives her a reduced cooldown on her Q on her lens, as you can see right there on the on the screenshot. Uh, so you can have it almost immediately. At least that's what I heard someone say. I'm not sure exactly what that means because I've never used her. I don't know her at all. Um, so uh, yeah, then you wanna go top left just because it's just gonna give you more fat. Fat is the little bar at the bottom. Um, so yeah, 
that's pretty much it you're just gonna have more fast so you're gonna be able to uh you know switch between your abilities more often make more make more turrets too so yeah uh, I think those two are probably interchangeable if you want to go for fat first, you know, like for example with Uraraka you go with fly longer first, so, you know, it's kind of the same principle, so whatever you want to do. Uh, then we have Tokoyami, let's let's do this last two very quick. Um, then we have Tokoyami, Tokoyami uh, is also a pretty complicated character. Uh -huh. So Tokoyami you want to go first for, for the top left. Uh, top left, basically what it's going to do is it's going to give you a permanent attack buff after you use your Q while liberated. So if you don't know, the way that Tokoyami works is that he will, um, you know, fill his little bar at the bottom like every character has. And once he does and he uses his Q, he'll go into this, this kind of Super Saiyan where he has like wings. And uh, after that, after that or, or while you're in Super Saiyan form, if you use your Q again, you will go back to your normal uh, state, right? Like, like at the beginning of the battle and it's gonna deal a ton of damage also when you do that. Uh, but basically, once you use your Q to return to your normal form while, you, while you're in Super Saiyan, you're gonna get a permanent attack buff. I think it's 5% and you can use it multiple times in a battle. That is amazing, that is super crazy because you want to be transforming into Super Saiyan and back all the time in a battle with Tokoyami, that's his whole shtick. Um, so also, also, you're also going to get in this, uh, in this branch, um, uh, every stage of Shadow Strike drains one point of uh, to the Shadow Meter. Uh, Shadow Strike is just basically his auto attack, uh, and basically what it does is it's going to um, it's going to drain points so that you can return to your normal form quicker. And when you do that, it, it's, it's like he, he deals so much damage when he returns to his, to his normal form. So you want, like I said, you want to be transforming back and forth all the time. So uh, yeah, basically what it's going to do is that you can go back faster um, from your Saiyan to your normal form, right? And then you have bottom right. Bottom right basically is going to do the opposite, right? It's going to give you extra shadow zones, which are those circles that you have probably seen before, those circles that he makes in the, on the floor. Those circles actually make his little bar at the bottom charge faster so that he can transform into Super Saiyan faster. So, you know, um, this is going to give you extra, um, yeah, I think it's the last one. Uh, yeah, it's gonna give you an extra shadow zone, and whenever the skill is used three times, the shadow meter also gains same points again, so that you can tr transform into Super Saiyan faster. Um, and also, you gain more attack and movement speed after you use your W while liberated. So after you activate your Super Saiyan, usually, usually, I think like 100% of the time, I think I haven't been using him for that long. But I'm pretty sure that when you transform into Super Saiyan, you can use your W right away. So yeah, it's basically a buff as soon as you transform if you can get your W in real quick. Uh, and lastly, we have Bakugo, my boy or everybody's boy. <laughs> So first you have top right, um, bullet is going to do insane, insane damage, you can see right here. Uh, when using Q, damage gradually increases by 10% from the second shot onwards, and he shoots 5 Qs, and he cannot be interrupted when he's doing his Qs, so he's going to get those stacks no matter what. You know, there are very, very few things that I can actually interrupt him. I'm not even sure if any of the characters can actually interrupt him. Uh, but I know that some bosses, some enemies can interrupt his Q uh, by stunning him, basically. Uh, so yeah, that's that's crazy. That's insane. You definitely want to go top right first with Bakugo. And then you also get uh, more crit after you use your W. The W is the fist, you know. Um, and yeah, then you want to go bottom right. Uh, I think honestly both actually both of them both of the other branches you know bottom right and top left are pretty good I want bottom right uh, bottom right basically uh, this was again a pain to understand because of the translations, but basically uh, you get increased uh, crit after E That's the wheel that he does into the air, you know, and then you also get increased attack after his special But w what I actually mean by his special is when he you know when he st uses his special and he starts flying around and running super fast basically while you are running around in that state if you start auto attacking That's when you get the increased attack, okay? It's kind of confusing. Like I said, the translation is very, very bad. Hopefully they fix it at some point, but yeah. So that's gonna be it for the video, guys. I'm no, I know this is a long one. It took a ton of work to do this. 
I'm going to leave a, a, a link in the description to this tree. I'm not going to make it available for everybody to edit it because I don't want any, any trolls, you know, like ruining, for, for ruining it for everybody. So I will leave it so that everybody can uh, look at it. And then I will also leave my personal Discord at the bottom. You can add me and then you can DM me, you know, if you think something's wrong. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, that's gonna be it pretty much i'm gonna be updating it as soon as you guys start giving me tips and uh i hope you enjoy i i hope this helps a lot i i'm very passionate about this game i really like it i hope this helps the community of course i'm gonna make it available to everybody and yeah if you like this please leave a like leave a comment what do you think do you think i, I got something wrong would you have would you do something different did you do something different subscribe if you'd like more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one